Hi there. Are you ready for another story? Well, tonight we're going to read a simple one. It's called Bears on Chairs, and it's by Shirley Parento. Are you ready? Bears on Chairs. Four small chairs, just right for bears. Where is the bear for each small chair? Calico Bear sits on a chair. He likes it there on his one chair. Now Fuzzy Bear wants a chair. She climbs up there on the second chair. Another chair is over there. Yellow Bear takes that chair. Here's Floppy Bear. She takes a chair. She's happy there on that last chair. Four happy bears on four small chairs. Not a bear has to share. Big brown bear looks for a chair. There is none there for that big bear. Oops. What a stare from big brown bear. That big bear wants a chair. Can Big Brown Bear make a pair with Floppy Bear on her one chair? No. Floppy Bear and that Big Bear cannot share one small chair. That Big Bear needs one whole chair. There's none to spare for Big Brown Bear. Look! Calico Bear shifts his chair over there near Big Brown Bear. Big Brown Bear helps Calico Bear make one double chair for three to share. Oh no, two of the bears fall off that chair. That double chair can't hold three bears. Fuzzy Bear looks over there. She scoots her chair beside the pair. Now Yellow Bear scoots his chair. Will one long chair Hold all those bears? First, Big Brown Bear, then Yellow Bear, climb up there on that long chair. The other bears look over there. Is there room to spare for three more bears? Yes, there's room up there for all five bears. Now it's fair. The bears all share. You know, sometimes the world doesn't work like it's supposed to work. And there's some people that'll just say, well, life's not fair. And that's just the way the world is. You'll just have to accept it. And there's no reason to try to change things. They're wrong. Jesus came in order to to change things. Jesus came to teach us to go out there and change the world little bit by little bit. And sometimes what that means is we have to think creatively. You know, most people think that one chair is good for one person and that each person ought to have one chair and that if there's not enough chairs to go around, well, that's just too bad. Somebody has to do without. But not these bears. These bears got creative, and they figured out how to do things differently by shoving the chairs together and then sharing them so that everybody had a place. Maybe they weren't as comfortable as they would have been if each had their own chair, but at least nobody had to do without. They took what they had, and they shared it. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. Sometimes we have to be creative. Sometimes we have to think of how to use what we have so that everybody gets something. Everybody can participate. Nobody is left out. The world does not have to stay the same. You and I and all the rest of us who follow Jesus can change it. Maybe just a little. But if all of us change it just a little, then it can change a lot and nobody has to be left out. 
Now, do you know why Jesus would want us to work so that nobody gets left out? Sure you do. Because Jesus loves us this much. So God bless you. God bless you that you remember always that you are the beloved child He created you to be. Good night.